Hi everyone. Welcome to my first project on my new channel, Quran Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to drill a hole in a Quran, in case you want to be like Hatun Tash and ask all your friends about the holes in the narrative. My art projects are dedicated to the Muslim apologists who started heaping insults and abuse on the wives of critics of Islam a few months ago. These apologists were attempting to enforce Sharia blasphemy laws globally through social media. Instead of simply taking down the tweets and apologizing like we asked, they decided that it would be better to have me implement Surah 6 verse 108 of the Quran. Surah 6 verse 108 says that if Muslims are crossing the line with insults, non-Muslims can respond with insults directed towards Islam. Allah commands Muslims to stop the insults in order to keep us from insulting Islam in return. Unfortunately for Allah, he didn't know how proud and arrogant and stubborn his modern apologists would be, so here we are. This video and this project are sponsored by Sadia Muhammad, who owes me $50,700. I'm not going to make her pay. Instead, I'm going to get the cash from her God, her prophet, and her book by creating and selling amazing works of art. Since this is project one, I'm going to drill a single perfect hole in this perfectly preserved Quran that Allah promises to protect. I want the hole to be right in the middle of this border on the cover. Old geometry trick. Kind of hard with this camera in front of me though. Don't worry about the sharpie. We're going to drill right through this. Drilling a hole through a book is a bit trickier than you may think. It's actually much, much more difficult than drilling a hole in wood. If you try to drill a hole in a book using a regular drill bit, you won't get a very clean hole. Paper starts tearing and shredding, and you end up with more of a crater. I decided to use what's called a hole saw, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a saw for cutting holes. These come in a bunch of different sizes. I'm only drilling one hole in this Quran, so I'm going to make a nice, big, two-inch hole. Now we just need to get this centered, but this porter cable has a laser for that. One problem you'll run into is that when the hole saw goes through the back cover, it tends to shred the back cover. I want to be as respectful as possible with the Holy Quran. I think the piece of 1x6 I put under the book should keep the back cover from tearing, but we'll have to wait and see. Another problem is that you need to firmly clamp the book down, but the clamps will leave some indentations in the book. Here again, I want to be as respectful as possible with the Holy Quran, so I added some strips of wood under the clamps. All right, time to drill. And here we see the downside of using a hole saw to get a perfect hole. The saw fills up with debris. It's not as bad with wood, but paper jams things up pretty quickly. So we just have to keep pushing out these Quran bits. The cover piece is the one that tends to get jammed in there. Okay, looks like things are about to get messy. Hit it.
Wow, this is the messiest Quran I ever saw. The funny part is that a Muslim apologist will look at this mess and say, perfect preservation, right down to the letter. And to think that all of this could have been avoided simply by taking down some tweets and apologizing. This is the part we wanted to see. We made it through the back cover. This board is stuck to the book. Now that is a perfect Quran hole. What a holy Quran. Talk about a hole in the narrative. Let's get this cleaned up and we're done. If you'd like to purchase this one-of-a-kind, screen-used Holy Quran, you can pay off $1,000 of Sadia Muhammad's $50,700 debt to me. Just send me an email and tell me that you'd like to help Sadia get out of debt. You can get my email from the About page on my regular channel. Send me a message, I'll tell you where to send the money, and you can have your very own Holy Quran. As projects continue, we'll keep an updated Get Sadia Out of Debt chart. I have a feeling that Sadia is going to end up funding a lot of Christian ministries. In the comments section, let me know what whole designs you'd like to see in future Holy Qurans. Special note to our sister, Hatun Tash, I know you already have a Holy Quran, but I also know that the Dawa teams at Speaker's Corner keep stealing them from you. So, anytime you need a new custom holy Quran for your discussions, just let me know, and I'll get it shipped across the Atlantic faster than Sheikh Yasser Qadi can say, holes in the narrative. Talk to you all next time.